What's going on, everybody? Just a quick video of me uh, showing how to install a duct sensor housing for duct smoke detector. Check it out. So to start off, I just found center of the duct, laid the sticker that it comes with, and here I use a, it's about between one inch and inch and a quarter. Um, it's like a mini hole saw bit for metal. Um, so I just punch out those holes. I lay the, the housing over it just to double check, make sure that it fits properly. Now I'm taking the height of the center of the test tube and I'm marking the test tube in the back on the other side of the duct, should I say. So it was about 24 and a quarter. Poked that hole through and then I double checked the size of the duct. That's the test tube right there with all the little holes. So I ended up making it a little bit longer, about six inches longer, four inches longer around there. Cut it down with the bandsaw. I'm just opening up the housing, taking the screws out just to get a, a better look inside and whatnot. So after that, I put the test tube in and I make sure this is a, on a supply duct. So I make sure that the, the holes on the tube is facing down so that if there's smoke going through the duct, it's gonna go into the test tube. So there you go, I put the plug at, at the end of it. Just cut open a hole, just liner, stick my finger in there, try to fit two, didn't fit. And there you go, so you see that I put the test tube on the bottom and the path of the airflow. And then on the top, I had the exhaust tube. So it's where the air would actually come out of the, uh, the housing. So I just make sure everything's nice and level. And right there, I slap a, a screw in the top. And then I just take the housing out of this. Just making sure everything's all set. And then I install the other screw in the bottom. Check for level again, and it's dead center. Right there. And there's that. So I just put everything back together. It came with some paperwork. I just stuck stick the paperwork. So we're a sheet metal contractor, and we're, we are in charge of only installing the housing. We do not do any of the control wiring or the electrical wiring to it. We are just in charge of actually mounting the, the, the housing, the duct sensor housing. It's pretty standard for us to do that on all projects. And this one specifically, they call for it on the supply side and on the return side. So there it is, nice and centered. And at the other side, you see the, the duct, the, the test tube sticking out a couple inches. I just grab some gasket, some gasket material, and I kind of just plug up the hole to seal it up so it's not leaking any air. Um, also recommended by the manufacturer, they do recommend to pitch the test tube down a little bit. Um, always, you know, make sure you're checking your manual and installing it per the per the manufacturer specs or standards so there's that and here i'm just showing an example of this is on the return side and the housing obviously is too wide and it it, it hits the flange so the cool part about these um duct sense or smoke sensor housings is they're they're able to to spin around and, and shorten, shorten up a little bit. So I'm just pulling these, these covers off and over here. I was just checking what, what kind of screw it is. So I got a, I think it was like a T3, a T3 or a flathead works to, to disassemble that. So it's on like a hinge system. So you just hinge it over, put the screw back and there you go. It's thinner. And um, 
just an FYI, anytime you install these the covers back onto the plastic or when you're screwing these onto the duct, don't over tighten it because it's plastic. You could crack it. And I'm just showing where the mounting side is. So I'm not going to show me mount this one, but that's it. So I appreciate you guys following along. Let me know what you guys think. And please follow me, subscribe, check out my Instagram. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.